Hey guys, it's me, Allie, and we're gonna be reviewing Fortnite Battle Royale on the Nintendo Switch. Okay, so in all seriousness, hey guys, it's me here. Um, so Fortnite Battle Royale was just released on the Nintendo Switch for all the players who don't have a PlayStation, a computer, or an Xbox One console, or didn't get mobile if they were able to. So, I'm just gonna review it, say my thoughts on it, have a little bit of gameplay in the background. It's a sick bleh, victory royale, five kills, majority of them are snipers, one shotgun. I'm not gonna brag. Um, <laughs> just kidding. But, actually that is the gameplay, but... But, I guess that was my first Switch victory win, also. Liddy beginning is very boring but I've been playing a, few, a lot of Fortnite on the Switch just to make this review and to get a feel of it so if you're switching over from a different console like PlayStation, Xbox, mobile, computer you're gonna notice an immediate difference in the controls because since the Switch controllers can be done in many different ways there's the Pro Controllers, Joy-Cons on the Switch, Joy-Cons separately, Joy-Cons on the grip which I just clicked. <laughs> um, you could play it on the small screen with the kickstand up. You could be holding the Switch. You could play it on TV. Plenty of different like play styles for it on the Switch. Once you load in, if you're loading in on the Joy-Con, you can notice an immediate like difference in graphics. Like it, it's not as good as it is on any other console. So. It's not the greatest, but then if you're just playing it on the TV, the only difference you'll notice is once you get into a game, you'll notice that, like, the game doesn't render completely like it does on all the other consoles. Like, as you're walking, you'll see things just pop up, like, in front of you and stuff. If you're from a far distance and aiming with a sniper or whatever, or scoped in on anything, you'll see players lagging around instead of, like, walking normally as if you're right next to them. Now, that takes away a lot, especially if you're going for, like, long sniper shots. Like, with me, I went for a 149, I believe, in a squad game. I hit the 149, but the person was lagging around everywhere. It was the final kill. And I went and got a dub for the team, but... Okay, sorry about that. Um, but you'll notice an immediate difference with... Like, graphics, rendering... Now, since the controllers are smaller... It's not that easy to switch from a bigger controller like PlayStation or Xbox. And if you're used to a computer, you can't connect keyboard or mouse like you can with PlayStation and Xbox. And then you can't do it like it uh, it's on your phone and use the touch screen on the Switch for movement. Which would be a really cool feature. But not there. We Nobody thought it would have gone on the Switch, which now it's on the Switch, it's great. Like... The greatest part about it is, on PlayStation, you can't play with any other platforms besides computer or mobile. You can't play with PlayStation or Switch. I mean, you can't play with Xbox or Switch. Sorry about that. But on the Switch, you can play with all platforms except for PlayStation. You can play with Xbox, mobile, computer. So you can play with all your friends that don't have PlayStation because Sony... Sony sucks when it comes to cross-platform play in games, so something you're going to notice immediately if you get a PlayStation rather than other consoles. <laughs> but if you're just playing on PlayStation, you're going to be playing with those players. You can't like join your friends on the Xbox or like any other console. But on the Switch, I was able to play with my other friends on the Switch and my friends on Xbox. Which is really nice to have, because most of my friends play Xbox. 
into the PlayStation. So, it was amazing to actually be able to play with those people. So, PlayStation 4 sucks in that terminology of using, like, cross-platform play. For any game with cross-platform, it sucks to use PlayStation. Then, with other, like, things on the Switch, like rendering, stuff like that, like, I could get why it's not completely full rendering and then full graphics, because the Switch is a small, compact console with minimal specs. Like, you can't get all that great performance in games. Like, if you're playing Fortnite, like, playing around on the Switch, you're going to notice a lot of lag, even if you have great internet. You're going to get a little bit of lag in it. You're going to get the choppy frame rate. You're going to get, like, low rendering. It's not all that fun to deal with, but got to deal with it if you have a Switch. But I really don't know what else to say. <laughs> like, the controls do feel smooth once you get used to them. Especially if you turn up your sensitivity. Like, I turned it up to 9 on Y and X axis. And it's perfect. I'd recommend turning off auto run if, like, you're one of those people who, like, clicks in the L toggle a lot. Because the auto run sucks. <laughs> For being honest here. Unless, like, you're one of those people who just goes to get a snack while the storm's coming in on you. Then it's perfect. <laughs> that was really stupid. <laughs> but, a Switch is an amazing platform for most games. Even Fortnite's really fun <laughs> on the Switch. For as limited as you have everything on it, I would truly recommend the Switch. I would say best to worst, I would say it would be PC, PlayStation, Xbox, Switch, Mobile. I'm putting Switch at the bottom because, like, if you're coming from other consoles or whatever, it's going to be really hard to adjust. And then all the players on the Switch are terrible. As you can see from the gameplay in the background, how everybody sucks. So, yeah. You get all those players who don't have any other platforms to play on and then just had the Switch and waited for that. While they were waiting, they were stuck with games like Mario Odyssey, Splatoon 2, Breath of the Wild, just naming my um, category of games, which were only Splatoon 2. Breath of the Wild and Mario Odyssey. Yeah. But I really don't know what else to say about the Switch besides that I recommend it, that there's a few like things that hold you back in game, but it's not that noticeable if it goes down to the frame rate or lag or whatever. It doesn't happen all that often. And you'd expect that from a console like the Switch. But I really recommend playing it if you didn't. If you're one of those people who, like, has a Switch and, like, didn't want to start playing Fortnite because you thought it was a bad game, I would recommend at least downloading it if you have enough space to kill for it. And then play at least like one or two games see if you like it and then if you don't like it delete the game if you do like it found a new game and especially if you are a youtuber who only has a switch it would be great for background gameplay like I usually do in my commentaries like this video or if you're making a video and you had no ideas of what to do you could easily just pick up a few friends play with them or do a solo game, which really isn't all that fun if you're doing solo, unless you're like d doing really good, getting a lot of kills, winning. I'd definitely recommend playing it with friends rather than alone. 
when I stream it, I'm bored and I hate it when I play alone. That's mainly why I stopped streaming it because there's not much people who want to play. So, and then whenever there are people on who want to play, they usually want to play other games. So I stopped streaming the game because solos aren't all that fun to stream unless you're really good at the game. But definitely, if you have friends who play it, play it with them. If you have friends on Xbox, add them on the Epic Games uh, feature on the game. Or, like, find their Switch accounts and then invite them while you're on Switch. But I truly do recommend the game. I recommend playing it with friends. As I said, everything that holds you back doesn't matter because it's very small. You don't notice it much. That's all I have to say for this video, so I'm just going to leave you to watch the rest of the gameplay. Um, I'll see you the next time I stream or record another video. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, my awkward, um, <laughs> awkward video. I'm really awkward. Social anxiety. Hey. <laughs> but, yeah, like if you enjoyed my awkward video, comment down below if you want to see more videos similar to this, or more commentaries, or if you want me to stream more, if you want me to upload more upload more covers onto the channel, which I'm probably going to be uploading one either the same day of recording this, or later in the day from recording this. Depends on whether I'm lazy or not. I'll probably have the cover uploaded the night of recording this, and the next day I'll probably have this video up, because that's usually how it goes my channel. Um, yeah, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content similar to this. Turn on the bell notification to never miss an upload, and to always be on, be early on my uploads. I really need views on this channel. Please turn on the bell notification, subscribe, and view all my videos at least 30 times because my channel's dead. And there's no way I can revive it unless that happens. So, I will see you guys in the next video stream I do. Bye.